So our second question, environment. How will you, at the federal level, propose to work together with your counterparts at the provincial and municipal levels to address environmental concerns? We're the only party that wants to move a lot of these um, policies back to the provinces, like healthcare and the environment. We believe that each province are more knowledgeable on how to solve their local environmental issues. The federal government will continue to support the provinces to make sure that they take care of their environmental issues. But again, it's more of a provincial issue. So our second question, environment. How will you, at the federal level, propose to work together with your counterparts at the provincial and municipal levels to address environmental concerns? Well, that's another reason why I'm very proud to be with the Green Party. Um, I was just meeting with uh, Mike Schreiner, the MPP for, uh, in Guelph, and he was saying that um, uh, Dear Raleigh was at Queen's Park. He was voting for conservative bills. He would vote for NDP bills. He'd vote for liberal bills. He would vote for any bill as long as it moved, uh, moved, made progress on the environment. So it's, uh, I think the Green Party is special because we really don't care about tearing down the other parties. We really want to work with other parties to make sure that we can uh, achieve success and, and achieve our goals. And I know that's something that Elizabeth May has been doing as well. I spoke with, um, I spoke with um, uh, uh, Pam, uh, Pam Damoff yesterday and she was saying that her and Elizabeth had worked together to, uh, to pass several bills. So that's, I think, something that the Green Party is, uh, it's, it's, it's a special thing about the Green Party. Thank you. So our second question has to do with environment. How will you, at the federal level, propose to work together with your counterparts at not only the provincial, but also municipal levels to address environmental concerns? Sure. Well, we have, um, with the Liberals, we've seen that um, they've neglected a lot of smaller communities and kept focus on uh, the bigger picture. Um, Grassy Narrows would be an example. Um, we have a community of uh, people that have completely been ignored. Um, they have um, had mercury in their water uh, from way back and it's still in there and we have not seen any solutions being presented by the government. Um, Jagmeet Singh has gone up there and he, is, he has come up with a plan to say, you know what, if you have a problem like that, small um, problems like not having water, that's a human basic right. Um, that should be something that, whether it's a federal level, provincial level, municipal level, it needs to be tackled. Uh, if it's not being tackled up to the federal level, then that's the final point. And I think that that's where the new, de new Democrats can come in. And we've offered a solution for that. And we've said, if they don't have water, we need to give them clean water. It's going to cost us $4 billion, then it's going to cost us $4 billion. We wouldn't ask questions if the same thing happened in Toronto. We wouldn't have to have the same questions if it happened in Montreal. Um, so we really don't think that the size of the community is a real concern. It's really the people of Canada, and we're all people of Canada. Thank you. So our second question, environment. How will you, at the federal level, propose to work together with your counterparts at the provincial and, of course, munic municipal levels to address environmental concerns? That's a great question and I would also add working across party lines because climate change is a nonpartisan issue. Uh, we need to be working with all the parties in the federal government, um, being able to work with provincial and have already been working along with my colleague Karina Gould in Burlington with our municipal pa partners to find out what their priorities are. Uh, to make sure that funding is coming through for the municipality. And I would ask, also add for the region of Halton, where they're dealing with a number of the um, uh, water issues, and Conservation Halton, which is funded through the region. Um, they deal with flood mitigation and floodplain mapping. We're seeing cuts to Conservation Halton. So making sure to raise awareness about the, the good work that Conservation Halton does and the importance of it. Um, but I would say, having been on, on 
uh, municipal council, I bring a unique perspective to the federal side because I've seen firsthand the challenges that we can have in a municipality dealing with funding for a lot of these projects. And so working with all of the partners is something that uh, I have been doing and will continue to do because um, municipalities can't do it on their own. We need to all be working together. Thank you.